All right, let's check out this 1950 Ford Custom Deluxe Coupe. 1949, this would have just been called a Custom. It was the top of the line in 49 and 50. Nameplate changed a little bit to become the Custom Deluxe. And then others will know this is a two-door sedan. Um, that's where the Club Coupe came in. Not a business coupe, but a Club Coupe. Nice looking car, paint in it. I would call it a driver quality paint. Has a nice luster to it. You're gonna find imp imperfections, some blemishes, but overall, nice, nice showing car. Something else in 1950 would have been the first year of the iconic Ford Crest. It's become famous over the years. It was also the bullet nose up front. And then as you can see, there's an eight in there which would have been an 8 series that so had the flathead V8 in it. I believe it was a 225 cubic inch flathead V8, 1950. Of course, a three-speed manual shift on the column, is what you would have found for a transmission in this car. But take a look up and down the side of this. It is actually pretty darn straight. And again, you can see the reflection in the paint. It's a nice luster to it. Car does show well. Check out the still pictures. And uh, you can look this one over right down below this video in the description. There's a link you can click on. That'll take you to uniqueclassiccars.com. Check out the still picture. See the underside, the interior. Um, and we'll get to that in the video a little bit too. But feel free to look at those pictures. Or if you'd like to give us a call, you can sure discuss this car. We can be reached at 507-386-1726. The interior, when I was in it earlier, notice it looks like a lot of it could be the original. The front seat has obviously been reupholstered, so it's got a vinyl bench in it. Take a look at this dash. Still retains a stock dash. It'll show up better. I get on the other side. You can take a look at it. The shading won't be quite so bad. We'll get a little bit better look from there, and then I'll show you the headliner and the rear seats, which again appear that they could be original. Sure, it has had a repaint along the way. Um, bright work. It's nice on it. Again, looks like the rear bumper may have been re-chromed. This car was actually traded into us the way that you see it. Nice running and driving car. When I say traded into us, of course, we do consider trades. Financing is available. And of course, we can assist you with transporting this car to where you're located at. Take a look up and down the Driver's side too, I mean, pretty, like I said, you get a black car and this long and tall of body lines on the side. It'll show up if they're not you know, real straight. This one looks pretty darn good. And again, check out those still pictures. Look down below this video in the description. There's a link you can click on. It'll take you right to our website, uniqueclassiccars.com. You can see the trunk, the undersides, the interior. Check out all the pictures. Once again, the number you can call us at 507-386-1726. Let's go ahead and take a look at this rear seat. The headliner, I believed when I was looking at it, appeared to be original in it. Obviously, front seat recovered, but door cards on both sides appear that they could be original too. Again, I do not know that for a fact. It was traded into us. I'm just kind of going by the looks and the age and the patina of it. One other thing I did notice, and I don't know if you can hear it, when I was in the car a little bit earlier. Let me get right up in this clock. You can hear it ticking, and that clock actually does work. I set it to 5 even a little bit ago, and uh, right now, obviously 10 after. So the clock is working. Appears to be the original sun visors i can get those to show up and again take a look at the pictures you'll see all of what i'm talking about in the pictures interior lights on each side pretty cool the old 1950s lights with the straps there for getting in and out those do work also but again that original dash so cool looking i even turned on the radio earlier it did power up i was not able to get a station in but just to give you an idea um it did power up and see the light come on there and do a little do get a little bit of static and buzz horn works but i could not get the radio to get a station in or anything like that just want to let you know um let's go ahead and fire this up 
so easily it starts. Nice running car. This has got the kind of dual exhaust on it, so you got that old school hot rod sound to it. Coming out of that flathead. It is cold. I haven't had this car running, so it's going to probably idle up just a little bit here. But let's uh, slip around back. I'll let you hear it. I'm going to pop the hood and take a look underneath the hood and check out the engine bay. Sounds like sitting there rumble a little bit right now, like I said with the idle down. Listen to this. Great car for your local cruise ins or local shows, you want to have some fun. Don't see them like this every day. 1950 Ford Custom Deluxe Club Coupe. First year that iconic Ford crest on the hood and trunk. There you have it. Give us a call, 507-386-1726. Of course, down below this video, in the description, click on the link to take you to uniqueclassiccars.com. We can assist with transportation. Financing is available, and we do consider trades. Look forward to hearing from you.